the promised one. He will reign on David's throne over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and with righteousness from that time on and forever. That verse is from Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 7. And when we read the Old Testament prophets like Isaiah, we find a constant reiteration of God's promise of salvation. We see accounts of God fulfilling his plan in the coming of the Messiah. The Messiah of God who will establish his kingdom, the kingdom of God, from that time on. Now in the second week of Advent, that's the hope that we can hold on to. We can celebrate his coming and we can know for certain that he's coming again. God's plan cannot and will not be thwarted. Now the next line in that passage that I just read from Isaiah, it says this, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. I can place my hope in the Lord God Almighty because he has never failed me and he never will. So as we celebrate this Christmas season, let's remember that we don't put our faith in any person or in a government. We don't put our faith in our job, in our friends, or even in our bank account. We put our faith in the promise of Jesus. And as the writer of Hebrews tells us, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. As an anchor, firm and secure. And like the wise men who traveled from a far off place, all they had was a star to follow and a promise from God. They put their hope in that and it led them to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It led them to a place where they found the promised one. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing it and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on, and forever. The zeal of the Lord God Almighty will accomplish this. May the hope of your salvation lead you to the King of Kings. May your hope in Him be an anchor in the midst of every storm so we can crown Him again, King forever, ceasing never, over us all to reign. Amen.